Welcome to the Derpzilla channel. Today, I'll be applying Dbrand's Obsidian Damascus Skin to my Microsoft Xbox X right here next to me. And as you may know, the uh, Xbox X uh, from Microsoft kind of looks like a ugly toaster oven appliance. So we're gonna go ahead and transform this toaster into something that you look like you may actually game on. When you head over to the dbrand.com website, you will be presented with a wide array of devices to choose from and services that they offer, such as skins, cases, and pretty much everything in between. Now for this video, of course, we are gonna be covering me skinning my Xbox X. I've already done my PS5 and multiple Steam Decks. If you wanna check out those videos, check out the links here up in the corner. And uh, of course, for this one, I went with one of their two options for the Xbox X. They offer a essential kit, which is around, I wanna say $45 or so, plus shipping, which gives you this, all the skins required to fully cover your Xbox X. That's all sides and the top, making it look like almost a completely different device. Now, if you went with the deluxe kit, they do throw in two skins for your Xbox controllers. I didn't go with that because I don't really care what my controllers look like and my kids usually beat the crap out of them anyways. And who knows how the skin will look with their grubby little fingers and chicken nuggies all over the place. As mentioned, I have also used the brand skins on all of my Steam Decks, which really can showcase how these skin will look on the Xbox X because I did go with their Obsidian Damascus skin which is right here on my OG 512 gigabyte Steam Deck. And I really love the look of this one. Now, I was thinking about going with their Acid one, which has a green tint to it, which probably would go with the theme for the Xbox X, but you know, wanted to keep things consistent and actually match my Steam Deck with my PS5 and my Xbox. Now, one thing to note, if you do order any of their metallic Damascus type skins, they do throw in a triple black, which is what I have here on my limited Steam Deck OLED. Now, they do that because there's a small, slight chance that you could have some kind of wireless interference with your metallic uh, skin. So they, for free, no extra charge, you pretty much get two for one, two skins. And if you order an essential kit, you'll get a second essential kit. If you order a deluxe kit, you'll get a second deluxe kit. So I mean, hey, if you got two Xbox Xs or you got a friend, you wanna give the second skin to them, you can do that. Most likely you shouldn't have any issues or you can keep it as a backup just in case uh, you're the one out of a, I don't know, one out of a million who may have problems, but I haven't had no problems with any of my skins. All of my skins are Damascus or have been at one point, and I've had Steam Decks, my PS5, zero interference issues for me, but there's always that one or two out there that they may have problems. That's why they hook you up, hey, and you can't beat that. Go ahead and get over to my workbench. I'm gonna take a closer look at what you get in your kit, essential kit for me, plus the uh, controllers if you got the deluxe kit, and we're gonna go ahead and get this Xbox X looking as good as I guess it's this Steam Deck right here, which is the one for my son now. And uh, I mean, you can't beat it. Let's go ahead and unbox this uh, package with our essential kit. See exactly what we get here in your order. And uh, no instructions come with it. If you want instructions, you're gonna to need to go to dbrand.com slash how if my instructions are not sufficient. But if you want the official ones here, they don't provide you like a manual or anything like that. But I mean, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna be slapping some skins onto our toaster oven appliance. Now, what you do get is you have three sides. So you have your three skins, front, left, and right. Of course, they don't uh, include a rear skin because that'll be either tucked behind a cabinet or against the wall. And you're not really setting this skin, um, skin console in a museum as a piece of art. So you don't need to worry about anybody going behind your Xbox unless you have a very weird fetish. And you could always order a second kit splice it up and maybe stick it on the back if you're that hardcore. But we're not doing that today. We're, we're gonna go ahead and apply the three skins and also the top skin, which all of the little vent holes are uh, exposed. You're not gonna be blocking any airflow. Now this of the install probably is gonna be the most difficult just to get this uh, lined up. I mean, you know, just make sure you line up the corners, get that dropped in there. And you just you know, lightly tack it up and then you should be able to get this on there. But this is probably gonna be the, maybe the hardest, we'll see. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the Xbox. We're gonna bring it over on my workbench and we're gonna go ahead and start getting these things applied. I'll probably start with the front and then we'll work to the sides, knock out the top and be done. Super straightforward, at least it should be. Now let's get, let's get rolling. With the Xbox X sitting here in place, first thing you wanna do is make sure you give it a good cleaning. You know, it's a good time to, to blast it with some uh, 
duster, get all the dust out. I've already cleaned it pretty good, but you wanna give it a nice little wipe. If you have uh, some diluted uh, alcohol or something like that, you can give it a nice brush. Now just make sure you don't have a lot of fingerprints or, or any kind of funky sticky goo. Or like I said, if you have kids, you make sure you don't got a you know, dino nugget juice all over this thing. And you just wanna make sure it's nice and wiped down and cleaned off while you can so you have the best adhesion with your skins to the console and they're not peeling off or just looking bad. So we went ahead and cleaned it already, knocked that out, and then you know make sure there's no dust on there. And you're gonna wanna make sure you match up the correct skin with the correct uh, portion of your Xbox. And one of the skins is the most obvious, uh, different than the other two, is the one for the front. You can see it has a little cutout here for the disc player, uh, or disc reader here, and then you have a little logo cut out, and then you have your little port cut out, and then the button for, I believe is the wireless. Um, and yeah, so pretty much just make sure you have the right skin. You don't wanna try slapping the left skin on here, and hey, what do you know? There goes your, exp <laughs> there goes your disc reader function. If you have a disc in there, it's trapped forever. So, uh, but yeah, with any kind of uh, uh, skin adhesion or whatever, you don't wanna stick it on there permanently right off the bat. You wanna kinda of just tack it in there, feel it out, make sure everything lines up perfectly, maybe lightly tap it, you can kinda of unpeel it. Good thing about d brand scans, they're super durable. You can kinda of tack it on, make sure it's lined up. If it's not, you can, kind of, you can unpeel it, massage it around. If you need to, you can add a little bit of heat to it, not a lot so you don't melt it, to help give it a little bit more uh, adhesion and flexibility if needed. But I mean, this thing is a, is a big rectangle uh, block, something like the fifth element stones or whatever. Should be pretty straightforward. And uh, you know, another trick is you can actually just peel off like the end, peel it down about here, line her up, and then you wanna go behind it, peel it as you lay it down, uh, if that's a technique you like to do. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the drive portion here, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing tacked in place.
done. As you can see, the process is relatively straightforward. This is not a you know hard device to skin. It's all you know flat edges. They are relatively large, which does make it a little bit more complicated. The top took a little extra time just to be uh, a little bit more accurate. But uh, uh, as you saw in the video, it's kind of sped up. But uh, you know, I didn't just slap it on the first time and it was perfect. You kind of lightly tack it on there. You don't want to tack it on hard until you have it perfectly lined up. Lightly tack it on and you know evaluate. And then if you need to, you can readjust, you know, you know, kind of pull it back off of the console and keep adjusting until you have the corners. I was using the light to, you know, kind of give me a little better uh, visibility on the edges, make sure everything looked good, lined up, and I didn't have any overhangs or anything like that, which I think it turned out pretty good. Maybe five minutes, um, you know, the video sped up, so it'd be only a few seconds for you. But, uh, you know, I think it turned out great. It's, I just love this style. Now, if you don't have, you're not going for a matching theme like I was with my, with my Steam Deck, you know, you got here, you got the full Obsidian, uh, you know, setup here. My son's actually on the PS5 with, or I'd have that one over here to show you guys as well, side by side. But, uh, you know, if you're not going for the perfect match and you want to keep more of an Xbox thing with the green, um, maybe check out the Acid Damascus. It has, a, it's kind of like this, but instead of the purples, it's more green blacks and stuff it looks super cool i almost almost went with that but i didn't but as you can see looks freaking awesome um boom i mean different angles now if this is stuck in a cabinet somewhere <laughs> probably not as cool looking uh but uh you know the top only maybe negative i've seen so far is i'm surprised they didn't do a one piece here i'm, I'm guessing it's because this has to have this slit here as a relief, um, a relief cut, so this can actually uh, sink down because this isn't a flat plane here. It's actually kind of like a bowl. So I'm guessing that's helped a relief cut. If it was just a square, it would have a bubble in the middle. So you know, it makes sense. It's just not quite as pretty, but but just make sure uh, you're actually doing the line uh, horizontally. And so if this is the front, this is the back. You want the line like this, then you won't see it. Now, of course, if you do it like this, uh, you will see a line in the middle. Very, very small, but you want it to be uh, side to side to left and right. That was the installation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Super helpful. Like the video, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, before you leave, let's go ahead and go over my thoughts on the D-Brand uh, skin installation. Maybe any things to look out for and, you know, pro cons, all that fun stuff. So first off, super big fan of D-Brand. So I may be a little impartial with that because I have their skins and uh, cases on a number of different devices, as I mentioned before. Never had any problems. Customer service is pretty good. Maybe a little slow on email replies, but they always get you taken care of. They resolve any potential product problems. And usually, you know, they hook you up if there's any questionable gray area, like mentioned with the uh, metallic Damascus skins. They throw in a free triple black. Uh, so you're getting two skins, two essential kits or deluxe kits for the price of one. And you know, most places would just wouldn't care. They'll just send you whatever, hope it works. If it doesn't, you know, they'll wait to maybe get a complaint from a couple percentage of people who actually are going to email, complain about something like that. They go ahead and catch you on the front end, get you handled. And uh, yeah, great. Uh, I love the durability and the thickness of these skins which really helps with insulation. You can actually apply the skin. You can kind of peel it back, retack it, maneuver it into place. If the skin was, you know, a thin, like some of the cheap, you know, Amazon or AliExpress or something like that skins, if they're really thin, you tack it on there, you try to peel it back a few times, you're gonna either damage the edges, it's gonna maybe stretch uh, and look kind of warped, or, you know, it might not be, uh, you know, perfect in place. And if you warp it or bubble up, and which is never good, and of course, if you stretch it out, it won't uh, actually sit on your Xbox uh, properly. Another thing to note is all of the skins were cut perfectly. I had no funky overhang, no uh, misaligned holes on the top, everything lined up as it should, which tells me you know they have high precision in all of their products. Never had any issues with fitment on any of my skins from D-Brand, so you know I wasn't really surprised by that. Now, uh, only negative, well, not really negative because I understand why they do it, but you do have that uh, two piece on the top skin. So uh, be aware that you're gonna have a, you know, not a seamless uh, piece up here. And that's just for relief of the skin when you apply it. And it probably takes it so, 
you know, it's easier to install versus, I mean, if you did have to have a single piece, you're probably gonna have to apply some heat on it, get some a little bit of stretch, and it might not have fit quite as precisely with that. So their solution looks like they just have this relief cut two piece uh, solution. And as long as you do it horizontally, you nobody's gonna notice. Uh, another thing I would have liked to see is having a rear skin. I know it sounds stupid. It's gonna be in a, ca you know, a cabinet. It's gonna be against the wall, but hey, I mean, a little piece of you know, square vinyl on the back above you know, all the serial number stuff. Uh, you know, just would kind of tie it together maybe. I think it would look a little bit nicer because, you know, some people do have it a little bit forward on their, um, you know, entertainment center or on their desk with their computer. And so maybe some angles you will be see behind here a little bit. It'd be kind of cool to have that skin. Minor detail. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, it's not, it's of course, not a deal breaker. I don't have the controller skins to go ahead and install those, but the same process, maybe a little bit more difficult because it's a curved controller. But, uh, most likely add a little bit of heat on it, you get it fit perfectly. Check out my other videos, should be up here somewhere. I have PS5, dbrand install. I have uh, their kill switch, which has another skin install. I have Steam Deck install for dbrand skins. And you can kind of see the more precise looking uh, where you have to actually uh, install the skin onto a, you know, a controller curved device. See my solution for that with the heat. But uh, you know, overall, super happy with how this looks. Hopefully you can see it in the video. And, uh, you know, it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my media room upstairs. Kids are the ones that use the Xbox a little bit more than I do. So, you know, hopefully they uh, think it looks good. They probably won't even notice, but hey, I notice. Hopefully my wife doesn't notice and we'll be good to go. So as mentioned, feel free to subscribe, comment, check out my website, zilla.com, Z1LLA.com. Got some new merchandise on there, some cool shirts. Uh, I got links to all my videos and, uh, you know, tons of other cool stuff. Check that out, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. My plan is to have more videos, and I've been kind of slacking, so I'll hopefully get more videos out uh, at a little bit better pace. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Anyways, peace.